Yeah, I mean, I I knew I was called to ministry since uh, since I was 16. And for me, there's never been a question that I could do other things. Um, I, I know that I've been I'm gifted in other areas. And I, you know, even being in the business world or doing real estate, I mean, literally right before this, I came from a duplex that we own and doing property management. We're flipping it, you know, around. And it's like it's it's a part of our lives that we've got our hands in other things. Um, at the end of the day. I know I'm called to ministry. That's my assignment for my life. And so uh, I'm also an all in all the time type of person. And so um, I I embarrassingly can admit that my wife taught me how to play poker for the first time last month on our sabbatical. And uh, and uh, she's making fun of me because I have a strategy and it's all in all the time. It's a terrible strategy. I wouldn't I wouldn't tell people to do that. But but she says, you know, that's that's kind of how I am in general in my life. Everything. I do. It's all in all the time, whether it's, you know, CrossFit or it's church or business, marriage. And so it it has been challenging for me to learn how to balance everything because I'm so passionate about what I do. And I've I've just learned, you know, I've been doing ministry since I was 16 now and I'm I'm 33. So I've had enough time to figure out like what my capacity is and what boundaries I need to put in place in order to do what I do well. Um, I say like, I know what my no is because I know what my yes is. And so because I've defined my yes, it's easy for me to budget out my no. And it's not because those aren't good things or things I enjoy, but they don't necessarily factor into the greater assignment for my life. And so for example, you know, traveling ministry is a part of my life. I travel and I speak at conferences and, or I do podcasts like this and I love to do them, but they only can fit within a certain amount of my time. And so I was, you know, given two opportunities in the next three weeks to go to Brazil, to go to London. And I love to do those things. I love to travel. I love to see different cultures and minister to different people, but we've got a capital campaign coming up the church. We're about to expand and I cannot, in my, in my responsible role as the leader of this organization, I just know that right now I could do those things, but the main assignment would suffer. And so yeah. knowing what your yes is in a season allows you to budget your no effectively and say, you know, that's great, but it's not going to lead to the greater purpose of my life. And so it's always a, it's always a tension and it's always changing because life looks differently, you know, and I'm sure you know this, like when you had children, it's like things shift and change and priorities and time. And so, you know, you, you run with the rhythms and you figure out what works for you in that season. Yeah. There's even in business, right. There's like, you have monthly objectives that you Mm -hmm. would hope that everyone kind of looks at and the lens of everything that they do runs through that, which is, Hey, is this contributing to these two or three things? And if not, can we kind of push that down? Because we really need to get these things done. And then for people that are even starting out, it's I like what you talked about with even the passions and responsibilities. That's where it clicked for me, where I have a lot of passions, right? Like I believe yeah. I could pretty much do anything. So I'm like, oh, golf. I'm like, I like that. I'm like, I think I could be Tiger Woods. Oh, like legit. Man. I'm just like, I don't know why. I'm just like, I could do that. And yeah. so then it was like, when you talk about your business or your ministry or then deeper your calling, that's like your responsibilities and maybe Mm -hmm. some of that fits with like your family. So Mm -hmm. I started going, what's your, where do your passions and your responsibilities kind of overlap? Whereas like Mm -hmm. you might be passionate about going to Brazil and that'd be so fun, but you got to ask yourself like, does this fit underneath my responsibility category as well? And you don't want to just do responsibilities where you're like, hate your life. You never graduate out of it. You know, you're running the restaurant and you're just like, man, I don't like this. Like I'm dealing with my responsibilities, but I don't, I have no passion kind of find those like places where they overlap. And it seems yep. like those two lenses, you have the practical monthly, Hey, we have a, we have a fundraising campaign, like, or yep. whatever word you use, which was really cool. What was the word? It's like yeah. a yeah. capital, capital raise. Yeah. Uh, and, and so you have that, but then also on the practical level, even just the day to day, like where do my passions, my responsibilities overlap? 